Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts. Wanted to do a follow-up video on the postcards that I ordered from Vistaprint. They finally arrived, so I wanted to show you guys what they looked like and my thought process whenever I was designing them. This is a four by six postcard, which is pretty much the largest size you can get away with using a postcard stamp on which only costs 34 cents versus 50 cents for a first class. So this is the front. It does have the 115 pound glossy option on it. So you can see how it reflects light pretty well. And then on the back is gonna be a little bit more of a matte finish. You can kind of see how it reflects off there. It's a pretty thick card. It's got some good heft to it. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. If you were to uh, you know, shake it up and down, it, it stays pretty rigid. So it's nice thick card stock. So for the front, when we talk about Sands Point, that's the name of one of the neighborhoods that I'm targeting. The best thing to capture someone's attention is if you, if you use the name of someone they know. So, hey Brad, your friend John Smith said you might like this. And that's a, a good way to get an in and then capture somebody's attention. If you can't do that, they said the next best thing is to list an organization that someone is a part of. So, you know, if I'm in a motorcycle club, hey Brad, uh, Big Hog Riders of America, Florida Chapter 313, thought you might like this. You know, some, obviously I made that up. Although, Florida Hog Riders, Big Boy Hog Riders, Chapter 313 does sound like a nice... So since I don't know who these are going to, aside from the people that live there, I was hoping to capture that same kind of effect by using their subdivision name. I'm hoping that when they open it and see their subdivision in big bold letters, they stop and take a look. So, Sands Point has a five-star option for lawn care. So the point of this flyer, I had to focus on kind of one small aspect because I don't have a lot of space. And so what I'm going for is for them to equate me with high quality. That's the whole gist of this is that when they see Copper Creek Cuts, they're gonna say, hey, five stars, he's the best one. Then of course my business name, the phone number, and saying you can phone or text. And then down here is pretty much the only place on this whole card where I say what I do. Lawn care, landscaping, and sprinkler repair. And then of course you've got the, uh, the photo of the van and the trailer. Around on the back, again, the company name, and then a picture of myself so that folks know who they are talking to, talking about, dealing with. That's just something I went out and set a GoPro up and did a bunch of still shots and then found the best one. Did a whole bunch of different poses, you know, that kind of thing. We're honored our neighbors consistently rate us five stars on Google and Facebook. Call or text today and you'll see why. Brad Bear owner and my phone number. I should have put quotations around that. I think that's the only thing I would have changed about this. Now, one thing that some folks may notice is that um, there's a lot of space taken up and not much white space over here. I'm not doing every door direct mail, which means that the normal postcard rules where you have to leave, you know, this space open for indicia or stamps postage, uh, you have to leave this space open for the address, this space open for the postcard. That doesn't apply to me because I'm putting a stamp on it and I'm going to put a mailing label on myself. So that's how I was able to take up so much real estate with this photo. I called the small business department of the United States Postal Service and they confirmed that for me. So that's one thing. If you're doing every door direct mail, the back of your postcard might look a little bit different because you've got to adhere to those strict rules about how much space you can use. Uh, another question was the size. I went with four by six simply because it was the cheapest and allowed me the most exposure. The price to order the big ones from Vistaprint and then the extra postage on top of that, it was just more than I wanted to commit. That's why I did four by six because it's the most economical option. And this is just more of a test really about exposure. If you research direct mail campaigns or you know, look at any of the folks here on YouTube who have done them before for the lawn care, the most important thing is repetition, right? Your chance of success with each successive mailer, I said that weird. Every time you send out another mailer, your chance of success grows exponentially. So this is something that um, can be expensive, but one of the things I've done to mitigate my risk in this little adventure, uh, there's nothing time sensitive on these. So there's nothing that says 
call us before March or call us for spring or, uh, you know, we do fall cleanups. Basically, all it does is say the company's Copper Creek cuts and we're five stars, right? And so that's something that I can send out all through the year. So what that means is that let's say I send these out from February through May and I get great response and it's more response than I can handle then I can just keep these for next year and there's nothing about them that's gonna expire or go bad. You know, the postage is still gonna be good. But another question that I think I may get is why I didn't do Every Door Direct Mail. F several reasons. When I looked on Every Door Direct Mail, it looked like you could only target it by a zip code. If you're in a real rural area, you may have a zip code that spans 15 miles and that's way more than you want to do. The other thing was it looked like there was a 500 piece minimum for every door direct mail um, and I'm only targeting these two neighborhoods that have 250 houses in a max. So again, every door direct mail wasn't going to be a fit for me. So anyways, if you have any questions about postcards, postcard design, I'm certainly not an expert, but I'll give you my two cents if you want to leave a question in the comments. I will be doing update videos on how well these do. I hope these work out for me. If you're doing any kind of advertising, I hope it works out for you. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. One of the things I've done to mitigate that, one of the things I've done to mitigate